So ask yourself a question. Is it worth it to invest once in a bag that you absolutely are obsessed with, that you want to wear every day, that you love so much? Or do you want to buy 10 bags that are like, okay? I think, I, like for me, the answer is quality over quantity. So, Hi everyone, that's and it. welcome, welcome back to my channel. I'm really glad that you found your way back for another video of mine. Today I have a really exciting video for me personally because I'm going to talk about my luxury designer bag, actually my one and only luxury designer bag and let's just head straight into the video. <laughs> Today I'm gonna talk about the YSL Lou camera bag. Here's the packaging that it came in. I have had this bag da -da -da -dum -da -dum. I have had this bag for roughly three years now, maybe two and a half, I don't really know exactly. I have wanted to have a luxury designer bag as many other girlies out there for the longest time. So let's talk about, about the bag. It's all black actually. It has a long strap, so it's a crossbody bag. Of course, you can adjust it. And it also comes with this, yeah, I don't know. It's an accessory, I guess. It fits everything that you need if you use it in your leisure time. So when do I use this bag? When I go out to bars, for example, when I go to dinner, when I have like some bigger events where I don't need the big bag, then I will go for this one. I have used it plenty of times already until now and I have been loving it every time I have worn it. So it's leather, it has a long adjustable strap and it also has the logo, however the logo, I don't know if you're able to tell, is not gold or silver, how you probably are used to it from YSL, but it's actually all black. And that's exactly why I wanted to have this bag, because I felt like, I don't know, it's like a complex of mine, but I would feel so silly to walk around with a bag that has a big flashy silver or golden logo in the front. It's just, I don't know, maybe, <laughs> maybe I should build up some confidence to do that, but I always felt like it was a bit like a show off and I never like, I don't know, it's just not for me. And I just wanted something a bit more understated, but something where I still felt like, hey, this is a luxury item where I felt like it when I was wearing it. That was, yeah, just, oh God, I hate this trend, but it's like quite luxury. This is not exactly quiet because you can obviously tell that it's YSL if you just look a bit closer at it, but it's not like in your eye. It's not the first thing that you notice, you know, if you look at it for a bit longer, then yes, you will notice it. It has a zip, which I love because like, especially when you're out in the club, like those bags that, that have a flap, I cannot, I simply cannot. It's so annoying when you always have to open that up and then, no, I like practical bags. So I love this. And then when you look inside, basically it has the logo again and you can see it's quite spacious and there's also a pocket here where you might put in your phone. I usually put in my cards, uh, money or whatever in there and then the rest I can just throw in there. And honestly, it's amazing because it's so spacious. I fit a comb in there, I fit my lipstick, I fit my headphones, I fit my keys, I fit my, my money, I fit my phone and perfume. Everything that you might need fits in here. I even took chocolate with me once <laughs> because I, I, I wanted to have a snack <laughs> with me. Another really nice detail that I love about it is this thing. I don't know. Yeah, it has lasted me pretty well. Let me give you some more details about the bag itself. Okay, let me give you some of the size and fit details. So. It's 16 centimeters high, it's 23 centimeters wide, so pretty wide, 6 centimeters deep, so, you know, and the minimal shoulder strap length would be 120, 
120 centimeters and the maximum would be 135 centimeters and this thing <laughs> is 14 centimeters although it's longer honestly to be however that's just what the website says okay let's just say I I'm very happy with this bag like everything that I wanted in a luxury bag this has it just has one annoying trait that I, I knew about this trait because I did my research like if you want to buy a designer a designer a designer luxury bag do your research before you get it and I did like a ton of research about this bag and I knew about this fault, if you want to call it that, but if you walk and you have the bag like around and on this side, the strap, when you're walking fast especially, just like slaps you in the butt while walking. And I think it's so weird, it's such a weird feeling, especially when there's people behind me, I usually just hold the strap or what I also do sometimes especially when I'm walking is I just put it in like I open the bag <laughs> and I just hide the strap in there so it doesn't fly around all the time and annoy me I mean I think you could also take it off for sure but you would have to open the strap and then you would yeah could take it off but I don't want to take it off I like it I think it's beautiful uh, it's just sometimes a bit awkward <laughs> that's when I hide it but usually it doesn't bother me at all and yeah I'm still very much in love with this bag yeah I just love it <laughs> also another thing a lot of people always tell me like why would you like put money in a bag why would you blah, 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 blah. honestly it also depends what kind of bag you're buying and if it's a classic that yeah will stick around or is it just like a trend bag that you're gonna put 2,000 euros for example this not that this cost this much but not that this cost this much but or do you want a bag that you put 2,000 euros in for example and in two years it's like for the bin because no one wears it anymore so another great tip if you do want to buy a luxury designer handbag opt for a classic piece especially if it's not an not a usual occasion for you to buy a luxury designer handbag. So if it's a classic, that's really important for the worth of the bag <clears throat> usually will go up. So I would definitely do my research about the bag you want to buy. <laughs> Bags definitely can be an investment. However, I do not recommend looking at them as investments because you're going to wear them. And of course, if maybe they are an investment if you just put them in your closet and you don't touch them ever again <laughs> but I mean if you buy a nice bag you, you buy it to wear it right so yeah but something to consider maybe it's the only luxury bag that I own I would like to one day purchase another one maybe a bigger one that I can use for other purposes as well but I'm also kind of a fan of you know minimalism because I think it's it makes much more sense to have one bag that's really good and that you really love and that's why it's extremely important when you choose your first designer bag or like your only designer bag however it's extremely important that you choose one that you know you're gonna love and that's like kind of universal so that's why I opted for this one and Honestly, I, I'm really happy that I did. I would also argue that I am quite the minimalist. <laughs> okay, that's, that's so not true. <laughs> Even I'm laughing while saying it because it's just not true. I am not a minimalist, but in some ways I am. Because you know what? Of course, a luxury designer handbag is much more expensive than other bags. Like, for example, I don't know, Michael Kors or... Fula or whatever like even if you just go to H&M or Zara of course you can also get quite nice bags there but just hear me out my opinion is if you go to Zara or H&M or wherever where there's cheaper bags you tend to buy more bags because the quality is not as nice or you don't wear it that often or it's a trendy bag um, which happens a lot with bags in H&M or Zara or whatever and 
you wear it for a while and then you have to buy a new one. So ask yourself a question. Is it worth it to invest once in a bag that you absolutely are obsessed with, that you want to wear every day, that you love so much? Or do you want to buy 10 bags that are like, okay? I think, I, like for me, the answer is quality over quantity. So that's the thing. I'm not a minimalist. I am a quality over quantity person. That's also how I approach, for example, my makeup. I have not, like, I have luxury makeup brands, like, for example, Armani or Dior um, or Lancome, for example, but I only have one of those, like, one foundation, one mascara, one lip oil, for example, and it just reduces the waste and you have products that you absolutely love instead of going to the drugstore and buying five different lip oils like what are you going to do with those you're never going to use them up so yeah that's just my opinion and how i like to live my life <laughs> if you're different of course that's also totally fine i think everyone is like ent entitled to their own opinion and way of lifestyle and yeah that would be it. I have to film another video as well and I want to use the overcast while it's there so thank you so much for watching this video today I hope you enjoyed and if you have any questions about the bag or like in general just let me know pop the comments down below I will be happy to answer those and if you have any more videos that you would like to see from me then please also let me know I'm very happy to deliver on that and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, evening, how, wherever, whenever you're watching this and I hope I'll see you next time around. With that being said, bye!